Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have to prove that R2D is a complete matrix space. But see here D is different. They have defined D in this way. As you know, each element of R2 has two components. So X has two components, Y has two components. So D is defined in this way. 2 into mod X1 minus Y1. That means first component minus first component plus 3 x2 minus y2 that means second component minus second component. So in this way the D is defined and we have to prove that it is a complete matrix space. First of all tell me when we say the matrix space is complete. If every Cauchy sequence is convergent then we say the matrix space is complete. So here also I will take any arbitrary Cauchy sequence and we will prove that it is convergent right. So let, let n be any Cauchy sequence in R2D. Okay, so I have taken any Cauchy sequence in R2D where, where I should mention n is a Cauchy sequence in R2D. So each term of n has two components. Getting? So where I should mention n is equal to xn comma y n for all n belongs to set of natural number. That means each term of n uh, will look like this xn comma yn first component is xn and the second component is y. So what we have it is Cauchy sequence right. So let us take one epsilon first. Let epsilon greater than 0 be given. Since as we know in the definition of Cauchy sequence as well as in the definition of convergent sequence epsilon is must for us. So that's why I have taken one epsilon greater than 0 and we have it is a Cauchy sequence. So by definition of Cauchy sequence I can write Therefore, there exist n belongs to set of natural number such that by definition of Cauchy sequence d of n comma m less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital N, right? So by definition of Cauchy sequence, I got a natural number n for this epsilon uh, such that d of n comma m less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital N. So now it's time to use this definition. Okay, so will you tell me using this definition, what can we write here? Let us try to write, okay, D, same, X comma Y. So here N comma M. First of all, by definition, I should write 2 mod X1 minus Y1. That means first component of N. What is the first component of N? Xn minus M. What is the M will be like this? See, let me mention M is for our reference. I'm writing M will be XM comma Y. So the definition says 2 into mod first component minus first component. That means XN minus XM. Right. Plus 3 into mod plus 3 into mod X2 minus Y2. That means the second component minus second component. Here also I will do the same. Second component is Yn minus second component is Ym less than epsilon. Getting? I should carry the condition. So that's why I'm writing copy paste. Let us move further. Uh, see mod is everywhere. So terms cannot be negative. 2 and 3 are positive real numbers, right? So that means we are taking non negative adding non negative terms and we are getting less than epsilon that means each of them is less than epsilon. So therefore 2 mod xn minus xm that is less than epsilon and this one also 3 mod yn minus ym that is also less than epsilon with this condition right. Let me shift to on that side here we have a multiplication if you shift it there we will have division right less than epsilon by 2 here 3 I am shifting there so mod yn minus ym less than epsilon by 3 with this condition getting copy paste let us continue here therefore mod xn minus xm less than what we are saying that mod xn minus xm less than epsilon by 2 but we know that epsilon by 2 is less than epsilon. So therefore directly we can conclude and write mod xn minus xm less than epsilon. Okay, so let me write directly here. I have written the reason here 
with this condition for all nm greater than or equal to capital n and i can do the same thing here epsilon by 3 is less than epsilon so that's why i can write mod yn minus ym less than epsilon for all nm greater than or equal to capital n let me remove this part but see this is definition of cauchy sequence in r with usual distance mod is there and basically this is element of r2 right but each component of them is element of r just like this one 2 comma 3 this is element of r2 but basically 2 is a real number and 3 is also real number so here also s xn is a sequence of real number and y is also sequence of real number and we are getting definition of cauchy sequence with a usual distance mod right so let me mention therefore xn and yn are cauchy sequences these are cauchy sequences in, in r with a usual distance rdu okay but see in our previous videos we have already proved that rdu is a complete matrix space let me mention but but rdu is complete matrix space complete matrix space means what every cauchy sequence is convergent right now we have two cauchy sequences so these are also convergent in r okay therefore xn and yn are convergent in r d see this sequence are convergent that means they will converge to some point so let us assume that xn converges to x in rdu and yn converges to y in rdu now what will i do i will take late i am defining a one term a in this way whose first component is x and the second component is y so that's why it is element of r2 getting so uh, let us recall few things that xn and y and both are cauchy sequences we got but r is complete complete means every cauchy sequence is convergent so that's why xn and y are convergent sequences they are convergent sequences that means definitely they will converge to some point i am assuming xn, xn is converging to x and y is converging to y so that means two real numbers we have got here with the help of them i have defining one uh, element of r2 just like x comma y i am calling it as a so now my target is to prove the original sequence n okay what is our target we have to prove it is convergent so i will prove that this n will converge to this a okay just make a screenshot of it then i will go further so i have clearly mentioned here okay what is our target our target is to prove that n converges to a in r2d right in r2d uh, so this two informations we have right now so let us use them we have xn converges to x in r d usual distance ready so by definition of convergent sequence we can write for given epsilon greater than zero but see epsilon we have already taken at the beginning of this solution so i will use the same epsilon therefore for above epsilon greater than zero there exists a fixed natural number n belongs to set of match okay and such that such that mod xn minus x i'm writing mod since it is a usual distance so that's why i'm writing mod less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital n getting but see here i'm going to do a small adjustment instead of epsilon i will write epsilon by 4 epsilon denotes a very small positive real number and epsilon by 4 has the same meaning so definitely we can write and it is just part of adjustment let me call it as 1 so let us use the second information what is the second information y n converges to y let us use we have y n converges to y in r d u i can write the same therefore for above epsilon greater than zero there exists a natural number so let us call it as n1 and we can have a different natural number so that's why i'm calling it as n2 such that 
mod y n minus y usual distance so that's why i'm using mod less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n2 here also i will do one adjustment instead of epsilon i will write epsilon by 6 it's a part of adjustment obviously so finally we wish to cancel out those terms which we have taken in denominator and it is expected to get simply epsilon at the end so let us see hopefully we'll get that thing but right now we have one big problem that is statement number one is true for n1 and the second is true for n2 it is true for all natural numbers which are greater than n1 and this is true for all natural numbers greater than or equal to n2 we have a solution on that i will choose the maximum of n1 and n2 then both of them will be true for that n okay so let n0 is equal to maximum of n1 and n2 then 1 and 2 will be true for this n0 so now no need to worry we can use both things simultaneously for all n greater than or equal to n0 okay let us recall what is our target our target is to prove the given Cauchy sequence which we already taken it's convergent so let us consider now so we are uh, yes we are very close to the final answer so d of n comma a so i am trying to prove that n converges to a so i am starting with d of n comma a this is equal to uh, we should follow this definition okay so uh, let me write what is our n n is x n comma y n and what is my a a is x comma y right so the definition says 2 mod x1 minus y1 that means the first component minus first component xn minus x plus 3 x2 minus y2 that means the second component minus second component yn minus y right let me remove this part mod xn minus x less than epsilon by 4 so i should write 2 epsilon by 4 plus 3 mod y2 yn minus y less than epsilon by 6 this is true for all n greater than or equal to that n naught which is the maximum of n1 and n2 so will you guess what will be my next step this 2 and 2 will get cancelled so 2 2 will get cancelled simply we will have epsilon by 2 here 3 3 will get cancelled and epsilon by 2 epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 2 epsilon by 2 which is epsilon so therefore my conclusion is d of n comma a less than strictly less than this epsilon with this condition n greater than or equal to n naught so this is definition of convergent sequence therefore n converges to a in r to d so we started with any arbitrary Cauchy sequence and finally we proved that it is convergent okay so let me write the conclusion here just make a screenshot of it so I have mentioned here, therefore, every Cauchy sequence is convergent in R2D. And see, this is definition of complete matrix space. So therefore, I can declare, therefore, R2D is a complete matrix space. Okay, this is the definition of complete matrix space that every Cauchy sequence is convergent and we got it here. So in this way, we have completed this example. Just make a screenshot of it then we will stop okay we will meet in next video thank you see you